Well, we've also accomplished our first major goal of the mission, which was to get a command set up to the vehicle. It was radiated up to Odyssey early this morning. Odyssey relayed that back to Phoenix. Phoenix has that in its system, and if I'm not mistaken, right now as our operations team in Tucson is sleeping, Odyssey, excuse me, not Odyssey, Phoenix is executing that sequence on the surface. So we've achieved our major, first major goal of the mission, which is establish our two-way communication path with both of our reconnaissance vehicles. We're now uh, awaiting a, an image from high-rise of our uh, spacecraft on the surface, so we know exactly where it is, and we hope to see also the the, the heat shield and the back shell and the parachute, all of those things will be visible and we just uh, haven't seen them quite yet, but we will. And once we do, I'm pretty sure because we carpeted this whole area with high-rise images that we'll have a before and after picture showing uh, what the site looked like before the lander was there and then after the lander came down. So that should be really spectacular. One of the things we had originally planned is actually taking on more of an importance today. Uh, which was to take more images on the lander deck, particularly around the robotic arm, to make sure we know exactly how the biobarrier deployed. Uh, one thing that we noticed from the one image we had yesterday of the deployment, or we actually had two images, but uh, in particular on one of them, is the biobarrier did not deploy 100 percent. This is of no concern to us relative to uh, getting the arm unstowed because it's really almost down at the deck. As a matter of fact, we've actually done deployments in conditions where the barrier was less unstowed, but it was interesting to us that it didn't make all it make it all the way down. So we want to get a full uh, full swath from tip to uh, toe to toe to the head of the uh, arm to make sure we understand where it's at.